Hello, hello. Hello. Do you hear me? Yeah. All right. I hate it because you. I just lost everybody that I had. You know? Right. Yeah. We had like almost uh, almost twenty in here right off the bat, and mm -hmm. and then you won't get them all back either when you have to end like that. If they're loyal, they'll come back. It's all matters if you're loyal, people. It works. What's up, Les? Well, we're getting quite a few of them back here. That's good. Oh, and it's showing my game this time. All right, good. What in the world? It's showing on my TikTok thing, though. Oh. <sighs> I don't know what I want this for. Hey, what in the world is this? What in the world? What are you looking at? Okay, hold on. Enter it. What kind of madness is <laughs> going on here. I've got all kinds of technical difficulties going on here. That's not good. Get off of me. I already fixed this once. There, jeez, oh man. Lock that in place. There. Or did the music quit? Probably. <laughs> there. All right, here we go. These chub are kicking my butt, Spider says. <laughs> This is why we can't have nice things, Warwolf says. All right. So I had to get Discord working because I'm going to be in there with everybody competing. I don't, I don't even know what we're doing yet. I think we're just going to do fun stuff. Some type of free-for-all thing. Something. I caught two diamond brown trout today. I got to, I got to target another fish. <laughs> I got the tiger got musky yesterday. Hey. Got the two brown trout today within 17 minutes. Oh, right there is what I want to do. And delusion barbel. I don't even know why I want to do that to myself. <laughs> but I'm going to. Blood worm cheese dough. Do they have any type of it looks like we're float fishing for them. All right, blood worm cheese dough. All right, and illusion barbel. Go. Let's go. Let's hit it. <clears throat> What's up, TJ Mans? How you doing? Douglas Ammons. How are you doing, brother? Now, are you the one I sent? Are you the one that I sent the Christmas card to and the bumper sticker? And Aren't you the one with like three different names on different platforms?
Let's go, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Are you Bounds? Are you Uncle Bounds? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's going on here? Oh, I could have just stayed on the road, but what's the fun in that? <laughs> Is it dark? Are you kidding me? It puts rocks out on a hillside anyway. Oh God. At least I don't see you doing a barrel roll like I did the other day. This is true. Just starting to get over the flu, been kicking my butt for two days. No, Biscuit. It's dime time. Amy, what's up? Hope you understood what I was saying, Amy. I didn't need to see the screenshot. I was just, anytime we find a new diamond location that has never been reported, we like to put it out there on the official angler discord so that people know that that's a new spot, you know, and, and I looked and it's not been reported and you said that you caught one there. So I was just going to see if you could message whatever screenshots you have to Wilson and say, Hey, I found a new spot. You know, that's all I was saying. Got the info oh, from Google docs from EW. Oh, this has been sick. I knew something was wrong. He's not been on. Who, Demonic? Yeah. Well, hop in here if you're able to talk, buddy. If not, we understand. Well, there's a bronze eel. Right off the bat. I need to I need to know my temps. That was 71.5 degrees. We're right in that wheelhouse. 69.5. Has the dailies uh, reset or not? Uh, they do at 10 o'clock each night. Oh, okay. Well, that means I need to go back to Thane and catch uh, some more stuff then. I feel like there's something that I need to do on... Uh... GRR, but I'm not 100% sure. I know I did everything on Trosport. Let me see. Let me turn multiplayer. I've done on. all my dailies. I just need, I just need to get my weeklies done. Let's see. Yeah, I need to try to do some my dailies as I'm finding a nighttime server for my walleyes. While I'm looking, let's go ahead and let that be soaking in the water. Uh, Andalusian barbel. Yeah, seven's okay. Seven six. Eight, seven, six or silver, actually. The walleyes, they are not bottom fish. All right, good. Yeah, Amy, I caught two diamonds today. Um, as this will be explained in tomorrow's video, I've already recorded it. Just got to do a little more editing on it. Um, I'm starting to find a correlation between temperature and the colors on this water. For example, I came here first, it was too warm. I cast it over in here, still too warm. So I said, okay, let's go to some of these darker green waters. So I came up here and went, I think I went to this deep, you know, this is a brown trout spot here. I went into this deepest area to cold out everywhere I cast there. So I said, okay, let's go to this next green shade. And about everywhere through here was the right temperature of the water, right? So caught a big diamond, 10.44 pound diamond right through here. 
And then I said, okay, so that color green right there, I was getting good temps all the way around that. So I went down here to this second spot during the filming of my guide. And I said, for all those that still don't believe in the water temperature thing, all the naysayers out there, I said, I'm going to cast in this direction and it's going to be too warm. I said, wait and see. And I did. I cast in that direction. I caught a fish. It was a couple degrees too warm. I said, okay, I'm going to cast back behind me here. And it should be in the right temperature because I said, I think there's something to this little color scheme here. So I cast straight behind my boat and that very cast, I, I caught another diamond <laughs> during the making of the guide. And I said, well, now that part's luck, you know, that's RNG, but that's showing you the temperature thing. Pay attention to the colors of the water as you're trying to gauge the temperatures for these fish. And let the naysayers keep naysaying. That's fine. They can keep saying it don't work all they want to. I'll keep doing it. <laughs> as long as I keep catching these diamonds, I'll keep doing it. I mean, it did work, it did work. Did Somebody just caught a mirror cart diamond, uh, Pas de Misave. Mis I'm sure that I, I'm sure that I pronounced that. That's spot on pronouncement right there, I'd say. Uh, let's see, mirror cart, mirror cart. He's got to be somewhere here. I bet he's here. I bet he's right through here. There's two there. I can't. Yeah, that was him. He's he's the one that's underneath hockey there. I, I got him just for a split second. <laughs> <clears throat> got your Christmas card too. Good, good, good. It said to say hello. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Spider, good to see you, bud. Well, we're at night, figures. I'm going to our spot to try to get me a diamond musky that we was fishing at yesterday. Oh, the fork? Yeah. That is the most con consistent temperature spot that I have found. So it's just nighttime. Then I'm going to go try for uh, walleyes. I just, I've got to get 10 walleyes. Yeah, gotcha. You know what? What? It's night time here. Are you on GRR? No, I'm on uh, oh. Spain, and it's night time. So I might want to, if there is a fish that is a nighttime fish. I don't even know if there is one. Uh, I think there is. I'm not sure what it is, though, right off. The only one's Xander. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Well, it's night time. Well, you know, I'm getting ready to go into Tackle Tuesday, though. By the time I got set up and got on the Xander, it'd be time for me to do that. So I guess I'll just right. stay. I guess I'll just stay here and keep trying to catch Andalusian. I was just saying, Mike, of a uh, fish that I didn't need diamonds of. Like Xander's the only one at night. You know what I mean? I'm starting to pick them off now. Starting to target fish. I'm just going to target one per mat. And uh, until I get it. And, and use that fish to get my challenges and stuff done each day. Another eel. Probably should choose another bait. What is the eel not going to go after? You know, blood worm, red worm, cheese. You know, blood worm, cheese. So were you casting in the middle of that fort of that area where I had my boat, kind of? Yeah, I didn't go far up at either finger. All right. Hot dog. Hot dog. I kind of get a glizzy. I 
Um, have you talked to Al to see if he's is tomorrow when he goes uh, on that trip? I don't know. I ain't, I ain't talked to him since uh, dinner at Shrine Lynn that day. I got the weekly done on GRR. That's good. Amy, are you still in here? Amy and the Hunters? Okay, Amy, I want to show you something real quick. I don't think we're talking about the same thing. So I'm going to share my screen with you. So you're, you're talking about this Google Docs thing. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. Where is my share screen button? Okay, here. I'm just going to drag it over. All right, so here's the Angler, the official Angler Discord, right? Call the Wild the Angler Discord. If you go to Resource Hub and you go to, what fish were we talking about? Tiger Muskie. You yeah, go tiger. up to Golden Ridge Reserve Help Sheet. When you go over to the GRR fish and you go to Tiger Musky, right here is where you told me that you caught, there's a buoy right there and you told me that you caught a diamond Tiger Musky right there. That spot has never been reported. So what I was asking you to do is to message Wilson so you come over here and you go to your DMs and you search for somebody. Or you go into the, go find him by his name or whatever. But you go into the uh, angler and do a at Wilson. Or do you do it that way? Probably not that way. Probably, probably direct message. Let's see. So, let's see. Wilson. Hmm. How is it that you do that? At. Crap. Well, now I'm questioning myself. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, you can usually find his name. And you never know what you're going to find in here. Oh, okay. mid boy. Hopefully this is uh, down and right off the rip. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh. I can't click on that. Resource hub. Somewhere here there's got to be Wilson's name. Right there. Oh, he's got like a symbol in his name, right? So anyway, you're going to click on Wilson's name. Thirst cast, lady. What? I found a ta uh, tiger muskie, thirst cast. Diamond? Diamond. What's the temperature? 52.4. Exactly. Hmm. Imagine that. Congratulations, bro. So here's thank message you, at you. Wilson. You just click on his name, type that in. Uh... Wilson, I've got a new diamond location for Tiger Musky, and then you can hit the plus sign, add your pictures of where it's at and all that. Does that make sense? 25 points. Because it's times. not there. It's not It's not reported there. So I don't know what Google form you're talking about. It was there before, right in the center of the lake, dead center. They took it out. It used to be there. Hmm. Well, I got another community record there on you on your uh, community record there, Darth. Well, 
Tiger Musky, 20, 25 is the record. Nice. I just saw the 20, 25 one. Sweet. Beat. I'll post that lady right now. All right, man. Congratulations. I'm going to hop in here, uh, see what we're doing in this Tackle Tuesday. All right, man. Have a good one. I'll let you later. All right. See ya. What up? Howdy. Howdy, partner. Oh, man. So it's been like raining for like over 24 straight hours. Oh, God. So it's, snow it's snowing now, but uh, yeah, there is literally running water seeping through the foundations of my basement. That is not good. No, not good at all. So, But uh, Tackle Tuesday goes on. That's right. Even if we have to, like, put a float in the basement. I'm just sitting here, like little floaties on my arms. <laughs> Man, I've had a... Jeeple people! How's the Jeeple people doing? B-Dog, what's up, buddy? Y'all hold a place near and dear to my heart, the Jeeple people do. You know? Anytime I'm trying to get to a hard to reach place to fish, I think, what would the Jeeple people do? You know? Did just, we decide on what we're doing for Tackle Tuesday? I don't think we did. Like, there's all kinds of ideas out there. I think the last thing I know, the last suggestion I put in was either burbot and, like, burbot and musky, and it's whatever you can find. Um. Nate said he's good for a free for all first to a diamond on Golden Ridge Reserve, which that wouldn't be. Johnny Crow just said, This isn't GRR, Sloan. I take it I'm supposed to be on GRR. Hello. Uh, howdy. I mean, howdy, partner. I don't think we. Had a I don't think we did a final. Crow, I, I feel like we did. Pretty like sure a final. we did Golden Ridge. Just like. That was the last suggestion. I don't know if anybody gave any input on it. I mean, I'd prefer Golden Ridge. It's been a while. Let's do it. Yeah, I'd do that. Just first to a diamond free for all. Yeah, sounds good to me. Scarecrow, I think you deleted me again. Oh, I probably did. I'm that. I got rid of I'm that player weird name. Well, I'm not online right now, so. Oh, that would also, wow. that also might be another reason. Yeah, I've been I've been doing dad things and stuff. Oh no, you didn't delete me. I see you now. Oh, dad things. Dad things and stuff, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, we had third Christmas today. Oh, nice. Yeah, we did a Christmas the day before Christmas with uh, my family, and then we did a Christmas yesterday with just uh me my wife and daughter and then today we did christmas with her side of the family so <laughs> all right Aaliyah got three christmases <laughs> i bet she did not complain about that oh no like uh la last night um we were trying to get her to go to bed right and then um, we remembered, oh my gosh, we forgot to give her the giant shark stuffed animal that's sitting yeah. in the top of the closet. And so I, I walked in there right as she's about to go to sleep, <laughs> turned the light on, and I was like, we forgot one of your presents. It's a giant shark. <laughs> oh my God. And she was, she was super happy to see it. And then right after she was like, I want to open more presents. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's the last one. And I was like, well, there's, I was like, no, oh, well, we're out. And then. <laughs> no, we're opening we're opening presents tomorrow from my side of the family. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I guess you do get more presents then. <laughs> That's it. We're out. We're out. <laughs> Daddy's gonna have to take out a loan. Yeah. Shut it down. <laughs> oh man. Man, oh man. I'm 
Slowly but surely getting there. I'm over here. It's dark. No, it's not dark. Okay, that's good. Have you uh, gone live already, Brobra? Not yet. Nope. All right. Sloan's so live. Gonna sl I was gonna say so. Just Sloan so far. Yeah, I'm live right now. All right, I'm trying. I'm sit getting everything situated for the titles and stuff. I'm alive. Gonna look for an Orid Trout server. You have fun with that. You have fun with that, Johnny. Oh gosh, Orid Trout would. Oh no, Johnny would demolish us with Orid Trout. Oh, I see where he's going with this. Yeah, Johnny. Johnny spent literally like days upon days trying bottom fishing on the uh, Orid Trout. Did he get it to work? Oh, he, he got it down to, like, what baits they'll bite at each hour of the day and everything. God. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're kind of screwed if he targets Orids. Oh, are we doing, like, first diamond of whatever? First to a diamond. It's just a free-for-all. First to a diamond go on Golden Ridge. I think it's yep. what we'll do. That way you can just do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. I'm going for black crappie and sunfish, so I probably won't get one. But if you do, that's going to be winning in style. Exactly. It's style points, baby. <laughs> you get the extra style points for that one. <laughs> Man. Uh, do we know if Nate's migraine has gone away? I have not heard anything from him. The only person I've talked to today, aside from like everything in group chat, is CJ Owen. We, we know how he is. He, he, he got that, uh, that future time. He's asleep by now. His fake English accent. <laughs> uh, poor C. Joe. Sometimes I feel bad for him. Then I remember that he would do the exact same thing to yeah. us. You really think he wouldn't kick us when we're down? Yeah, right. <laughs> he'd, he'd take the opportunity to kick us twice. Yeah, exactly. We can make sure we stayed down. <laughs> oh, he's getting up. Kick him again. Oh, man. I am way too close. Back it up. Back it I up. Am Super happy that they put, that they uh, didn't do the escape from Tarkov wipe today, because I desperately need to catch up on content. Yeah, I need and I need the mustard content. Oh yeah, so essentially my night's gonna be after Tackle Tuesday. I edit two videos, get everything scheduled. That way I can just play Tarkov all day tomorrow. So when you say wipe, what do you mean? Uh, they wipe everybody's account to back to level one. Oh, okay. Because a game like that, it suffers from, like, major burnout and repetition when you get, like, super late into an update. Yeah. And so then, like, with every major update, they just wipe everybody's accounts so that everybody gets that, like, early game experience again. Because that's where, like, the most fun is for Tarkov. Once you've got everything unlocked and you've got, like, endless amounts of money to buy gear, it's not nearly as fun. Gotcha. So when I hear the word wipe, I used to play World of Warcraft and that meant everybody die. Oh, like resets all your characters? Yeah, everybody die so we can start the raid over or something. Or you got wiped unintentionally by the boss. Got you. Okay. And yeah, like in... Yeah, I play other games where wipe is used. Like in Ark, wipe is like you got wiped by somebody, by somebody else's tribe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm just trying to do a diamond that I don't have. It's panfish. Unless, it's, unless it turns dark. I need walleye and sturgeon. I've heard sturgeon are quite tough now. Uh, 
All Got right, seven great. left to catch on Spain. Oh, I thought you had every diamond in the game, Amy. Right. What is it about your hobby? What is it about your hobby? Ben Rear, thank you. Appreciate that. So you got them all on the other maps before you started on Spain is probably what you did. I don't know. Just stop your sentence there. We know. Mm. What? I guess I need to know what time it is on this server before I figure out what time it is. Yeah, that might be helpful. All right, I got my I got my play sheet. Everybody, it's got the hook sizes on them. Oh man, he's gonna go hardcore today. Do you have your football thing on, Robra? Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> he's going full head coach on us. That's awesome. Oh, dude, quarterback, bro. Quarterback. I'm calling an audible. Yeah, oh, call man. we're going to the hook size too. Gosh, yelling at me. I love the cosmetics in Angler so much. Ooh, horrid uh, trout, horrid trout. Eggs, red squirm, crankbait. All oh right. Man. Is it the daytime? Where are we at? 16? Okay, we're going to be at the nighttime. Uh, all right. Well, we do need a diamond walleye. We do need a diamond walleye. Yeah, uh, so if you end up on a nighttime server... Uh, yeah, jump in. Yeah, because I need a walleye as well, or a sturgeon. Yeah, jump in. I'm at 1,700, and it's climbing. Oh. 17, almost 1,800 and climbing. Yeah, but is it sinking still? Thank you, dear. No, it's going to 1,800. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be like right at 1,900, I think. See what time I'm at. Mine is at 9 a.m. and going back. We're fishing okay. nighttime over here. I'm joining on you then. All right, so then Diamond Wally Boy, uh, leeches, minnow, crankbait. Let me just check my. Uh, uh, All right, I'm gonna mute and get started. I'll be back two secs. Two secs. Ah, uh, it's full. Your server is full. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Uh, if you if oh, someone yeah. leaves, holler at me. I will. Oh, what time is it on yours, Johnny? Johnny said he found one, but it's advancing fast. What? Did I miss Wally? I guess I don't have Wally. I forgot Wally. Oh, no, I did Orange twice. That's why. Okay. Uh, size two, I believe. Two sets. Okay. Oh, storage hooks. Redneck outdoors. How's it going? my baits really quick because i don't know what baits i still have uh, oh i needed these for sure all right so max out those max out these max out the manners gotta get them manners boss all right we're going for small eye Uh, sorry about that, Will. My uh, one of my uh, best friends, his uh, grandpa just passed too. So what's up? Surprising? How you doing, buddy? We're going for small eye over here. I'm ninety nine and a half. Level? Yep. 
Nice. I, uh, still level 74. I have been hitting the hunter. I haven't touched that game. Jingler. I'm getting excited for it. I'm getting back into it. I'm getting back into it. Jaxie's probably going to threaten me and be like, uh, bud, he'd play a little hunter every, every once in a while. <laughs> I'm just... I, I do. You don't have to. You don't have to justify it to me. I know. I just I can't know. stop. <laughs> I know. You don't have to justify it to me. I've got a lot of fish that I need to catch diamonds of. <laughs> yep. And the animals that I need on the hunter, the five animals that I need on the hunter to get diamonds of are not fun to hunt. Oh, yeah? Let me guess. Bob White Quail? And I'll got that. Ooh. But you're in the right ballpark. Uh, uh man. Uh, it's uh, they're all off the newer maps. Hazel grouse. Hazel grouse. Yep, that one's the that, that <laughs> one. Yep. Knew it. <laughs> yeah, CJO. Pain, man. I messed with CJO as soon as he got his uh, level two. Yeah. The hazel grouse raccoon dog. Ooh, I need that one. Even though I've found one before. <laughs> and I need I may have took a running shot in multiplayer oh that's right you ruined one didn't you yeah, oh. yeah it was sad. It. It was I did so that sad. on a coyote one time didn't realize how rare it was and oh, man. hated myself I also did that, that on a level 9 coyote too but it did troll so no the, no, it was worse it was a level 9 side stripe jackal oh gosh that's right your jackal <laughs> It was. It did troll though. It ended up silver. So All right. that takes a lot of the sting out of it, though, when it trolls. It, yeah. We're starting, right? Um, I'm good to go whenever. I guess it's really just like us three in call tonight, because I don't. I'm assuming Nate's yeah. probably sleeping or something. Tony's probably busy, like mm -hmm. wrapping up holiday stuff. Chips Arkin. Yeah, most likely Arkin. Oh, the third one off Raven Tooley, Mountain Hair. I still don't have that one either. I got it in early access and then couldn't get it on the main game. Well, you could have. Well, I could have, but Brober took it from me. I think Brober I got my Antelope Jackrabbit off from, like, I got it because of one of your videos, Crow, I believe. Oh, really? Yeah, I like all the places that you were killing yours i just started multiplayer hopping like three or four of those hot spots you were hitting oh yeah and i eventually got a level three doing that love to see it love to see it those things are tough yeah all the rabbits are like that all right so uh not hitting on the uh leeches and then on the new map i need magpie and stubble coil Gotcha. I figure yeah, if those five, those. Magpie would probably be the easiest because you can just sit there at the electronic probably. collar probably and just sit in the tripod and now the old dog will go get it and bring it back and just a matter of doing it, committing to it. Yeah, pretty much. I I just need, for some, some way, somehow, I still don't have a diamond mallard uh -oh, on my no. DC save. How so, is that possible? I've got I like nice dad. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue, dude. No clue. Somehow, some way, still have a diamond mallard, so I need one of those. Watch someone uh, botch a jackal by shooting them with the Mosin. Oh no. And then I think I need a diamond. I think it's a gray lag. Cause I got in that one video we got a diamond tundra bean goose, right? The one uh, I think that, so, yeah. that didn't work. Yeah, I believe so. That's a bean I, I'm probably not even going to upload that video, to be honest, because there was really nothing I could salvage from it, aside from you getting diamonds and me not getting diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have to we have to go back and add some more to it, probably. Yeah. Could. I'd rather just start fresh on it now, with, and with all the info that we know now. Yeah, true. true. Anyway, I'm going to mute real quick, so I'll be right back. All right. Nice, Dad. Sweet. Okay. 
Okay, so size three is not getting us. I thought that'd get us silvers, right? For the walleye, size three would get us silvers. Am I wrong? Pretty sure that's what I fish with. Oh yeah, Schrader, did you end up having to stay home because of your sickness? She's got a friend request from you in the game. Try crankbait, shoot. Four or five is silver? I'll check them here in a minute, Warwolf. I'm, we're trying to get on the same server, those of us competing here, and then I'll uh, check it. I feel like somebody just tried to correct me on one of my videos in the comments. Happens I mean, I all they, the time. I thought they said, <laughs> I thought they said size two was gold for walleye. People will tell me like sometimes like when I know it's a strategy that works and they'll tell me another way and I no, that's not the way you do it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> You just saw it in this video working. I could be misremembering too, so. I just didn't need it, so I have no clue what you guys are talking about. YouTube comments. Oh, yeah. You gotta love them. You'll see, you'll see like a hundred nice comments, and then the one comment that just makes you scratch your head is the one you think about all day. <laughs> you'll have people tell you you're doing it wrong when you just made a video showing how to do it. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Much. Or, I'll, or I'll have people tell me like all you do is grind when I've got like probably a thousand videos of not grinding <laughs> or the ones that are like oh I'm not finding anything here why do you have animals there and it's like I just explained in the video that it can be different from person to person <laughs> alright we're on the silver side so now Let's nice. Sounds good, Will. That's kind of what I'm going with right now, too. I got the, the size 7 spinner. Trying to get some brook trout. See if I oh, the old brook trout, huh? Oh, yeah. I'm at that little brook trout honey hole. Hoping that I can get something good. Get me something good. Caitlin, I know you were thinking uh, yeah. that, too. What's up, Joey? Four diamonds left to get on Spain. Very nice, Dad. Tucker this guy out a little bit. <laughs> Raid. There we go. All right. Me no, too, Amy. It's exactly how I got my brick trout. Going for a cutthroat. Yep. We got one walleye in the boat, except for there's no boat, but that's beside the point. I'm going to try to join you again, because I need to, I need a nighttime yeah. server. Somehow Surprising entered the reserve. Um, maybe he was already in here, but somehow he got in and nobody left, so maybe there's an opening. Maybe? We'll see. We'll see. And nothing. Anybody out there that's playing right now got a night time? And when I say night time, I, I mean like. 1800 1900 because we go any further than that it'll be over in like 10 minutes it feels like yeah you know what's so funny before they had um fish that specifically bit in the nighttime, 
or like I guess before they made it like more dramatic. Yeah. The nighttime like lasted forever. Yeah, everybody hated it, and then they changed it, and now we want them to change it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess it's, they they did all the balancing. And now we're like, okay, now we want nighttime to last longer. But then I I honestly feels like it's we're always a prisoner of the moment. It's like what kind of fish we've been going for. Like yeah. If, we're, if we've been going for nighttime fish, we always want nighttime servers. And if we're always going for daytime, we've been going for like daytime fish. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, I just we can't be trusted. Play My problem is I'm vastly approaching this part of the game where most of my fish I need are nighttime fish. Right. <laughs> because it's mostly daytime all the time. So you end up catching those fish first. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. That I caught two diamond um, brown trout today. Yeah. Within 17 minutes of each other. Ooh. And uh, one of them was 10.44 pounds. Big boy. Okay. Okay. I've, I, I'm at the point with, with the angler now. I'm not... I feel like gear chasing is the low hanging fruit, right? Like trying to get all the biggest everything is the low hanging fruit. Cause that's kind of the easiest thing to do, right? It's just grind, 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 grind to get the biggest gear. But all that does is make all the fish fights much easier. Mm -hmm. And so it makes it less entertaining almost. So I have all the gear I need to get to land every fish in the game even if it's hard that's good you know so i'm more just diamond hunting right now yeah as opposed to trying to grind levels because i got all the gear i need i just you know i can land every fish yeah like i'm I, i'm less than half a level away from 100 if i really wanted to knock it out i'd just put my bottom fishing pole on and go catch some carp Right. But instead, I'm out here fishing for black crappie and green sunfish. So, right. because I don't really care. I mean, I, I do care, but I don't at the same time. Like because yep. I I put in the game suggestions in Discord uh, three or four days ago that I think we should implement some type of you know 110, 120, 130, you know. Uh, cosmetics like here's a hat you get at 110 here's an article oh. of clothing here's a new boat skin you More know cosmetics please yeah something to to give the level 100 and beyond player something to look forward to you know yeah true The more that they can add in cosmetics wise the happier I'll be <laughs> I love the cosmetics Because I can just see it, you know, once you, if you get to that point to where you've got every diamond in the game and you're well past level 100 and you're not getting anything like every five or 10 levels, at least cosmetics wise, I could see it starting to become stagnant at that point, you know? Yeah. And that's what, I, what it, while you were gone, Crow, what I was saying is, and what got Stone and I talking about this is, I'm not concerned I'm not concerned anymore with getting the biggest gear because that's oh, just a yeah. grind. I'm I've got all the gear I need. I don't I don't even have the biggest pole, the biggest like feeder rod uh, from Spain. I can still land everything I need to you land. You just want some like you know special stuff to say, hey, I leveled up this high and I got this special thing that I'm wearing that I you stand. can't get until you get to this level. That's 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 what Sloan is saying. I, for me, I'm diamond hunting now. Like, I'm not concerned with level anymore. I'm just diamond hunting before yeah, I go dude. back to level. And a lot of people uh, a lot of people also just try to grind out levels because, like, the level is, like, a sign of success as well. It's crazy True. how many different signs of success you can have in the angler. It's just what like, you like. Different ways. Yeah, different things that people go for to try and, like, show yeah. their skill. Which I think is kind of uh, another, like, underrated aspect about this game, too, is... Like, you can grind it out, get your levels up, 
you know, it's and or you can focus on just finding diamonds, or you can just focus on mastering specific equipment. You know, like oh yeah, it kind of. It kind of gives you a little bit of everything to play for, you know? Or so like if I'm not missions. mistaken, hmm. is, isn't gold and above for Brook Trout like size 4 or something? Hold on. Let me look at my play caller. Yeah, he's, he's got to pop his little, uh, his little <laughs> quarterback. Uh, quarterback. Got to check his friend. wildcat formation out here. Um, <laughs> 4 is diamond, so you're going to want to use a 5 or 6. Okay, so I think this is the one that was a little bit incorrect because I've caught golds on fours. And this yeah, is what we were talking about with Doan that one day. There's a very there's a variation to it. So Yeah, so you, four is you, definitely not diamond only and above. You can catch the big golds on it as well. So Yeah, so basically what you want to think about it is is the metals are an approximate measure. Okay, they're not the exact measure. I do, Bungus. I got a, I got a play sheet. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, this guy's like, he's, he's that there sweaty. There's some kind angler, of wampus you know? cat. <laughs> so, right below my boat here. Um, you, you want to think about the metals as an approximate, you know, approximate measure of what hook size you need for certain size fish. It's the weight is the actual more like detailed measurement so yeah which i that, would assume so right so that's what you want if you want an exact thing you gotta look at the weight this the, was. The actual metals are just yeah because uh, i've had a. Uh, I remember with a size four i caught a diamond and then like a few casts later i caught a gold whatever it like, is it should bat a minnow I think it's like six and a half pounds or something. Yeah. I have to go back and actually look at it because, uh, yeah, I remember we were talking about it during one of the Tackle Tuesdays water. with Doan. I think it was the Brook Trial one, actually. Yeah, it is. It's an approximate thing. Like the burbot is a little bit. Like you can get a really big gold burbot to bite what is listed as a diamond hook. Yeah. Did y'all see that swim under the boat? What do you think that was? I didn't, sadly. No, no. we didn't see it swim under the boat. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll mute. Didn't sorry. See it, Sloan. Hey, no, we were having fun. No, we were having fun. Yeah, I didn't see it. Something. You want to see this clip? Something swam under my boat, and it, it was it was huge mungus. And so I put a six minnow on because I figure where I'm at, it's either a catfish or some type of bass. I know it wasn't a pike because yeah. it was fat, whatever it was. Uh, surprising says he thinks the hook sizes might have changed a little bit when bottom fishing came out, maybe. Oh, that's a possibility. I hadn't considered that. Um... One second. Well, I appreciate you, buddy. Hope you're doing better, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I need to do these. We get 26 minutes. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm not getting any of that. We'll do walleye. That might have been what I saw. We'll do a I think it was a silver catfish. That I saw. Two diamond stalkers? Doable, actually. But that's just as doable. All right. Uh, we're going to go back to our minners. Got to get them minners in there. Let's see what we get here. What should I fish for, guys, to, just to get a dime? Just Crash, to get a dime. Push your John boat all the way to Arrowhead Lake, which is up a mountain, number one, and then you managed to crash it? How did you do that? Wait, who crashed what? Like, Schrader got a John boat all the way to 
Arrowhead Lake and then crashed it in a giant open lake with no <laughs> water. Like, there's no debris in there. Oh, my gosh. The legend can crash a boat in any land. A little tiggy musty. Nice, brother. Nice. Fishing and farming. Game crash. Oh. Perch. Oh, that's what he meant. It's probably the easiest time, yeah. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Of perch. I might go <laughs> Dad, I, uh, it's not dark. I can't find a dark uh, nighttime server, or I would. Let's see. I'm trying to get try on here with Brobro on them. Yeah, try to join mine again. Was I not muted again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shoot. I don't, I, don't, I don't mute very well either, so don't even, <laughs> like, it's not like a thing. Yeah, Brobro's muting sometimes is non-existent, so it's okay. I think I'm the only one here that, like, reliably mutes. <laughs> eh, reliably. Mm. Well, I mute when I want to mute. <laughs> okay, all right, I'll take that, I'll take it. Yeah, there's sometimes where I just purposely don't mute because I want you to hear or I just don't care enough. <laughs> oh, man. Is, is anybody winning right now? Well, number one, it's Tackle Tuesday. Number one rule Tackle Tuesday is everybody loses. There's no winners till it's over. <laughs> there's no winners when you're fishing with us. Uh, man. But no, uh, no, no one's winning, Bungus. I don't think anybody's got even come close to a diamond. Has anybody got a gold yet? No, no. Best I've got is a four pound brookie. I'm getting freaking tiger musky at this wall I saw here. Morning, big feller. I know, I know. Another silver tiger musty. So somebody says, does that guy sound like Patty Mahomes? And then I, I a couple days ago, bro, I had somebody uh, call you Patty Mahomes as well. Somebody was literally like, is that Mahomes I hear in the background? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll go with that. Gotta get wild over here. All the wild? Ew. Oh yeah. Did you hear what I was saying? No, I was muted. Somebody somebody asked if that's Patty Mahomes in the call. <laughs> and Dude, the other day so somebody uh somebody was was uh commenting on one of the shorts and they were like, Do I hear Patrick Mahomes in the background? Dude, I'm telling you, my voice is like higher pitched in real life, but every mic I've had it makes it like super it really enhances that super mahomes-esque yeah which honestly brover's like i mean if you want to think i'm him you know please yeah, please, call, yeah, please, call yeah, yeah, please call me him please call me him please call me him did you all see what happened to uh lamar jackson in the end zone so he falls back and yeah. um into his own end zone, just scrambling to try to not get sacked. And the referee fell, and he tripped over the referee and got um, got a, um, what's it called? The two-point, the... Uh, safety. Safety, yeah. Oh, gosh. He oh, tripped over the referee. <laughs> the referee just fell down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's yeah, ridiculous. That's part, of, that's part of it. The ref, I mean... They know that referees are part of the field. Of yeah, so he scrambled like it. ten yards back behind the line that's of wild. scrimmage into the end zone, so he has nobody to blame but himself. You know? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like, like that's just that's just part of it. You know, like I just think, part of it. The referee was backpedaling, and you could see in slow motion his eyes got as big as quarters because he stumbled and he knew he was going down. Oh, and he no. tried oh, to get no. out of the way, but <laughs> he clipped Lamar's ankles. Oh. <clears throat> That's yeah. unfortunate. Oh man. That's one of those just like freak incidents you can't really like prepare for. <laughs> the first time I've ever seen that happen. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I, I've it's I've seen it happen, but yeah, not not to uh not to where they get a safety, but I've seen them actually trip over the refs or under the refs. But not a safety. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I think they tell I think they tell the players like you have to understand the refs are like 
they're like a, if, hey, if they need snacks too, you Dad. Know, they're worth a, like you a know? tackling dummy or like a glove or a shoe on the field or something like they're that's the same just, thing. Yeah, it's just part of it. Man. Tell me your fishy fishies. Mm. Just need one diamond, I'll get eleven hundred and sixty seven. Okay. For some reason, I picked that daily up. Uh, I'm not getting anything here. I'm going to Kyla's spot. I at least always catch a goat every time I go there. I don't even think that's marked on the uh, official angler discord actually. Ooh, surprising you have the same idea I do. This lake, I see people catch them on this lake, but Kyla found this little nook over here and she caught two black crappie diamonds. Ah. Dude, I, I put my... <laughs> I let go of my mouse for like two seconds to get a drink and then a fish bites. <laughs> Ooh. No bait attached. It's just a Are you bike, though, so it's whatever. Me. Are you... Never kidding you. Never. <sighs> I ran out of minnows. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even check what my baits are at. I probably should have done that. You know what? I'm going to jump on Spain real quick and extend, expand my tackle slots because I forgot to do that. And oh, then I'll no. be back. Do it. do it. Give us five minutes to get ahead. Yeah. Might go to the blood worm. Might try the blood worm. What are you fishing for? Uh, perch and crappie at the oh, little, yeah. uh, diamond spot. That's deaf. You've never seen a shark go diamonding. The terror of Aguas Claras. You're trying to impress our colleague. Do you have no chance with me? I've got two or three diamonds from this spot for the uh, yellow perch, so I'm hoping that I can get the, the same thing happening today. You think so, huh? Yeah, I'm hoping. That's what we be hoping for. This spot has never been good for me. Hey, thanks for doing karate in my garage, Keith Fletcher. Appreciate you, bud. This spot's never been good for a while. This bridge spot that's surprising me right at. Faded just got a nine pound uh, gold walleye. Look at that, Faded. Of course, he's at the bridge. Taylor Swift is not the reason why the Chiefs receivers can't catch the ball. <laughs> Could be a good reason, though, you know? Just saying. The bridge, Bungus. He's at the bridge. Travis is on pace for another thousand yard season. What are you talking about? Oh, did you hear that, Bungus? Zodic's creatures. I just, um, the reason I went to Spain 
is because I had five diamond tokens on Spain that I needed to spend. So I expanded my tackle by 10 slots. And I had to buy minnows anyway, so I figured I'd just go there and do it. And then come back. Makes sense. No bait attached. What the? It's about to be on like neck bone. I may or may not have a wheelbarrow emoji over here. Just saying. See. Um, ooh, it's dark. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if sunfish. I'm not even going to finish that statement. Never mind. It's going to stay dark. Where's your all's favorite walleye spots? Actually, never mind. I'm going sturgeon. Oh, my sweet. Oh. Is Crow muted again? Probably. Wow, that's rude. I haven't been muting this whole time. Totally not. You were just being silent, right? Yeah. Royal STN, I didn't mean it. I was not about to say do sunfish prefer daytime. I was not about to say that. See. Yeah, I've caught one walleye total. Okay, now I gotta figure out what uh sturgeon red worm. Okay, I got the right bait on. Nice, nice. Now I gotta figure out the hook size. Definitely four odd. <sighs> Four alt, four yeah, alt, four yeah, odd. four alt white yeah, wafters yeah. floating, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Exactly. What good I'll advice? What good advice from my frenemies over here? I got you. Is this a crappie? I think it's a crappie. No, it's a perch. Little feller. Ooh, Earth nice trade. Did I put a five on? Hurry up. Hold on. Oh, I put a six on. We can't be having those bronze bite. What's up? Can't be having none of that. I have sturgeon biting my blood worm in the day. It's like ten. They're biting a blood worm on a float. <laughs> Austin Rowe, how you doing, sturgeon. Babe? Four and a half pound silver. Daytime sturgeon off of a float. That's wild. All right. Yeah, my my burbot um, that I caught right before it was named the fish and king of the catch was uh, caught during the middle of the day while I was tiger musky fishing. And it was a big one. Like it was a uh, eighteen. I, I got one too. It was a eighteen point three, something like that. The big I one. I did. I got. I got my diamond burbot. Going for tiger musky. In the big one. I. Uh, it was on one of the tackle box streams. Uh, it was the last one that we went. Uh, or Jackson went for tiger musky. On the tackle box stream. I ain't gonna get daytime burbot.
I did notice they added more markers for us, Johnny. I think we can put 80 down, Neil. Is Johnny cheating on me? Are you on Bro Bra stream, Johnny? <laughs> he is. What's up, turtle? Bottom fishing. For walleye? Am I an idiot? Is that what are they saying you need a bottom fish for walleye now in the discord fungus am i have i missed that is that what, what they're saying i mean it's aggressive jumper and night owl it doesn't say they're bottom feeders maybe they're saying that you can get them off of bottom fishing stuff. well if it's in shallow water i mean like if you can go 20 yeah. feet 20 feet deep or less then you're gonna attract it anyway Shouldn't the Which I like. coming up top at night? Not if they don't want to. Jeez. Trying to force them. Rude. Oh, you got a 15.8 pound gold rainbow, Johnny? Nice. Johnny's about to sweep it. Oh, here's a gold shovel nose. Where's this dude at? Sheriff. You at, Sheriff? I mean, shoot, let's try it. It's not been working. This hasn't been working, so let's try it. He's not in a spot I'm aware of. Where you at, bud? Huh. The Sheriff guy is in... Where's he catching this at? Later, Will. It's 25 feet. Float should work just fine. If it was more than 30 feet down, I'd be more concerned about float fishing. You found this dude. We'll see. Weird. I used to get a lot of walleye. I used to get a lot of walleye at all the spots that I just went to. A bit code. A little bit code right there. Is this guy still on the map? Yeah? Where you at, Sheriff? Mm -hmm. I think you are here, too. Man, I'm getting... Not really squat. I should get walleye down here too. Not here, but here. He's got to be in that bunch right there. There he is. I don't know if that. I don't know if you can catch a diamond there. You can probably catch a goat there. I don't think you can catch a diamond there. I don't think I've taken a jaw boat up there. It was uh, it's daytime, Amy. I caught both of them daytime. Um. I want to say morning time. It was morning time, like 8 a.m. ish. But I think they uh, they bite throughout the day, though. They're not. But it was daytime when I caught both of those dimes. Yeah. What, the perch and the uh, crappie are being stubborn. Not catching a lot of them, and when oh. I do, they're little silvers. What's up, I'm Nate? Not getting a lot of anything. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, things definitely feel like they've been a little bit slower today than normal. It is. Oh, that's a secure catch one. 1 a.m. in the morning ah, here. Silver. On my channel. On my map, I mean. Oh, your channel's got its own time zone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got to get that custom scarecrow time zone. Custom scarecrow. <laughs> yeah, in my time zone, it's only nighttime for one hour and nobody needs sleep. Oh. I don't think that's how that works. It's, it's definitely how it works. Cause I in my time that. zone, every day Saturday. Oh, I like that. Well, we'll just walk. Walking because every day is Saturday? Um, I may have failed. Uh, why am I not surprised? At driving. Why am I not surprised, man? I like how I didn't even let you finish the sentence. I'm just like, you're not surprised. Yeah. Failed, he hath. And Darth, I did get my only diamond channel catfish to that location where those guys are right now. Oh, really? Ooh, nice. Yeah, I don't think it's a sturgeon spot, though. You can get burbot and catfish there and bass. Ooh, that's a good idea. Mad dog having him throw the hook. Diamond orid trout uh, temps. Oh, Johnny, so you're a temperature. You're on the temperature train, huh? A lot of people are not. Wait till you see tomorrow's video, uh, Johnny. Wait till you see what happens in in uh, what. Wait till you see what happens in tomorrow's video. While I was filming the guide, we're gonna go here at the. Base it's pretty sweet waterfall. with the temperature thing. I think I pretty much prove it in tomorrow's video. Might buy a fish. Try to buy a fish here. Forty-three feet. That could work. That could work. Okay. Oh my gosh! It's gonna snow. All they just changed the weather. It's gonna snow like all night. Oh. Fifty percent chance till about six a.m. of snow. Austin okay. Rowe, hold on, Betty. You have to show me where this lake is. You're talking about. What are the updated snow totals? That's not good. We have a uh, dog point for the baby tomorrow. The barb, yeah. the camazo, or the Andalusian? I don't know. I've not gotten the the Andalusian. Just got done watching the Africa 2.0 video. Shoot, I can't even remember what that's about. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bridge at the north part of the, I believe it's called Bear Lake. Are you talking about right here? Austin Row. I believe that's where you're talking about. In the 20s? It's the bite has just stopped for me, dude. <laughs> yeah, I gotta change it up. I gotta find something else. Yeah, the perch and crappie just stopped biting completely. Mm -hmm. 415. It's time to get a watch.
Are you fishing right off the bridge? I'll fish on. There we go. Finally. Finally another little guy. I was about to say, talk like you're going to leave or open up a new tab and you'll get a bite immediately. Yeah, pretty much. A little perch finally bit. Dude, my cat, my cat saw that there was a bug, right? Like she saw a right. bug on the wall, right? I got rid of it and she's still coming back to the same spot, just staring at where it was. <laughs> she's just so... So confused as to where it went. Oh my gosh. Now I, I cast out in the exact same spot that I just caught that fish. Nothing. It's just nothing there now. At least not on the size 8 bloodworm. I think it may be time to switch things up. I might go for some lake trout since that's my like most got diamond. I'm gonna try to find a daytime server. Nice. I mean, I've got a daytime server. It's at 9:49. Ashante. <laughs> my server's likely full, but you can try to join. Made it. Nice. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Do I even have my, like, jig set up with me? One knot's good enough. It's not going to guarantee diamonds, but... Or not going to guarantee gold and above, but still okay. I like that because it's cheesy. You're cheesy. Austin, if I get. Easy peasy. If I catch a diamond. Easy peasy. Grover's kind of cheesy. Um, I'm, I'm naming it after you. The call earlier, Crow, when I uh, was telling uh, Sloan about my the river in my basement right now. No, I, I don't believe I was. Ooh. Uh, you, having, yeah. uh, you having some problems? Yeah, so, you know, um, my landlord was like, hey, just so you know, if it rains a lot, you're going to see some uh, uh, water seeping in down here, and it's going to go straight to this drain. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we watched it, right? We watched it for a while. And now it's and, a full-on river. Well, I mean, it had rained a lot. I mean, we've been here for almost a year, and it's rained a lot. And I have not had any issues. Until now. <laughs> Until, yeah. Uh, we had it with, like, the, the storm drain backing up. Man. We had issues then. Um, but not like this. And uh, gotcha. so like, okay, so like, okay, cool. So we put all of our stuff down here, you know, and then it's just rained for over 24 hours straight. Oh, and gosh. Yeah. Well, that's not good. No. And uh, so literally there has been running water. Like, it literally is like a constant flow in uh, the basement going into the storm drain. So, yeah, we bought a dehumidifier. Jeez. All right, I will be that right doesn't sound back, good, guys. does it? Give me like five minutes at the most. I right, that'll cost you. Oh, no. Oh, it's not like you're going to catch a diamond anyway. It's a pretty big fish. I swear to God, if you catch a diamond after I said that, I will cry a little bit inside. It's a gold or a trout. Oh, it's gas, gosh. baby. All right, well, I'll be back. <laughs> Keep them uh, entertained while I'm gone. Turtle, I am not surprised you're now going to be a Niners fan. 
If any, if everybody doesn't know, Turtle just uh, is a fan of whatever team is winning. Your John Boat League. Ooh. Ah, that's tough. That's tough because it sounds fun, but a lot of time. A lot of time and effort, but it does sound fun. Oh, friggin' potato. Cabbage. 50.1. We need it to be at like a degree warmer. It was not Colby. No, it wasn't a feeder pole. It was a uh, cast over this. It way. was a bait caster. I bet it's warmer on the sides. But I did try to. There's a goad sauger. Fish for Atlantic salmon. Um, didn't go very well, but I think you could do it. All right, this temperatures. If it's any different, we'll cast a little closer to the boat. 50.1, staying right there. Okay. Need to be a smidge warmer. We're going to go right over here. That's the water. Um, for Atlantic Salmon, it's tough because at one point, right there. At one point, it really felt like the Atlantic Salmon, the big ones were not coming to the top very often. It felt like. They were staying about 40 feet down was when I was hooking into them. But it's hard to tell if I had found as Tackle Tuesday run till 10 p.m. Eastern. 40 feet 11 p.m. Eastern and Austin. Row. About another hour. To it or what? But it felt like I was getting hooks into the big golds around then. And then everybody who was getting diamonds was saying about the same thing. And then for a while, we were seeing tons of them caught off the top just getting them right off the top uh so it's tough as far as the depth goes you know i bet you right what there, i would say where we need to be i would say let it sink to about 100 feet at least and then start reeling in if you're letting it sink to about 100 go brownie 7.47 that's not too far off. One of my diamonds I caught today, Amy, was eight something. The other one was ten something. So eight, around eight's where they go dime, or eight and a half somewhere through there. Pro lie is two thirty nine. What is he talking about? It is not. It put me further back in the night. And I'm back. I would have been faster, but my daughter was talking to me. You lied. Huh? It's 2.30 in the morning on your server. <laughs> no. It's, it's 10.35. Did you get Did you get thrown into a different server because the server was full? All right, we're going to go up here. Anybody watching my stream right now can go tell you. It's 10.37 right now. Did Grover even enter our server? Lie. No, you didn't. You're not even in the server. You lied to me. Faded's in here. Ender's in here, but no Brover. You lied to me. Brover sucks. You liar. The biggest liar. Everyone knows it. Such a big lie that you just keep lying. You can't stop lying. Officially, you're the worst. The worst, I tell you. They ask me who's the worst. I'm like, Brover. Couldn't be me. He says it's 1027. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Bailey, what's up, dude? I think it's that gold aura tried off that. Oh, I thought that was a shark. No. Never mind. You see how the. So, uh, refresh, refreshereth my memory lake trout are not Ooh. a bottom fish anymore I just got they? uh pictures like at my trail camera worker. let me check this out 
Because that's what I've been hearing, but I haven't actually looked. Oh, yeah. Purple dough. Yes, they no longer have the trait. Are they still deep in the water, or are they just kind of at all levels? Now? Purple dough. I, I think they're still deep in the water. I was going to say, what I'm asking is, do, am I wasting my time casting a spinner across the surface? <laughs> yeah, probably. That's all I needed to know. Back to jigging the worm we go. You've heard the lake trout are tough now. You've been playing it more than me, Caitlin, so <coughs> I'm going to take your word for it. <laughs> Don't take a word for it. She's lying. No one's got a diamond yet, Jared. Dre, have you got a diamond? If they ever add sharks, I'm never fishing for anything Probably. else ever again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I see a turtle. A wild turtle. Did you hear the Chiefs lost to the Raiders? I did, and I heard that they lost in miserable fashion as well. Ooh. I heard yeah. the only scores by the Raiders were uh, defensive scores. <laughs> yeah, the ball, it was raining. The ball was super slippery, so... They, so like you know their 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 clammy hands couldn't grip it. <laughs> no, it was literally two the same cheese, ball yeah. and three awesome. back to back plays. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, but I have I have seen the, the that he bites on three all and four all in other like the, groups the like Facebook and, and, and Discord and stuff. Touchdown. Then they go to kick the extra point. It slips out of the Raiders holders' hands, and they get they just get tackled. And then Mahomes goes to throw it, and it goes wide, slips out, goes wide right. They get a new ball, and uh, then the Chiefs score, drive down, and actually uh, yeah. uh, have a turtles, good drive. Turtle's calling you out for excuses, so. Turtle doesn't know what's happening. thought we were catching them on <laughs> boils. Turtle says he's a fan of a new uh, team First every time. Week, so. <laughs> I'm a fan of whatever team. Oh, you're right. Hates it was boilies. That's that's kind of uh, that's kind of the what where I'm sitting. It was right boilies. You're right, uh, Austin. We I, caught them on boilies. Two alt boilies. I I hate my I hate that I. Enjoy Although cheese would probably work. Watching the NFL. Uh, yeah. I hate. I don't hate any team because I'm a fan of the Chiefs, and we just have won so much recently. Like I don't, like yeah. it, nobody else matters. Hey, the for a while you hated the Patriots. <laughs> you were, you were, no. you were always like, "Oh, this guy, he likes the Patriots." Ugh. I didn't, I didn't hate the Patriots. I was jealous of their success. But still, in the moment, you masked it as hating them. Yeah, of course. That's what I'm gonna do. It's exactly. What, oh, my, See, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what my chat does. And <laughs> I think that's what every chat does, <laughs> right? And so here's the thing. If I was saying this in my in my uh, NFL gym chat in my Discord, if the NFL officiating was like a video game, it would be so glitchy, it would be unplayable. It yeah. would be like it would, it would be, be like, like Call of the Wild in its first year of existence. Exactly, it'd be like if you go to if like the like the players have no idea what they can do because they call things differently every week. And they called their things differently in the in the individual games. It'd be like if you go to like the bait and lure preference. Yeah. And it's like, okay, this is their this is their preference. And then it's just never and then in the text just says, I don't know, man. Yeah, or it's just like, oh actually, this is what they prefer, but they're actually not biting on it at all today. You're like, why? How do I know what day they will buy it on it? And it's well, just like, you know. I don't know. I don't know, bro. And it's it's like figure it out, it, dude. Come on. It's like okay, like so you, they're just what it, like what they're just gonna go like three weeks without biting on this lure, yeah. But then they'll bite on it every single time, randomly without notice. Later. All right, what's the temperature yeah. out there where we're at? Okay, or it's like, yep. or it's like okay, so I can use thirty three pound line to catch a diamond tiger. Like, yeah, 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 you could definitely do that. Three minutes like, later, suddenly oh, they get super strength, degrees. and it's like, oh, that's not going to work anymore. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Oh, crap, it's that's colder it's here. That's like to play in the NFL week to week for these guys. 
So it's essentially it, like it's Tackle Tuesday, but we change the rules every week and we don't as, tell anybody that the rules were changed. Yep, exactly. And yep, exactly. It'd be like if if Jaxie controlled the rules to Tackle Tuesday and he just didn't and he tell just us. He didn't give it out and it was a mystery yeah. as to who won each week until right. the end. <laughs> right. But like I'm saying, like, if that were a video game, that would be so glitchy, it'd be unplayable, and you'd get a you'd ask for a refund and you just stop playing. Right? And so I'm oh, like, yeah. okay. I put it in. I like put it into that kind of terms for myself. Just not the rat tamper there. Even though the Chiefs win so much, so you got to think of it kind of like as a professional wrestling or something, you know? Exactly. You got to think of it like the WWE. It's like this is a show. This is performative. Yeah. This is not really real. Didn't you say it's classed as reality television? It is. Yes. Yeah, so that explains it all right there. Yep, yep. They did change their business license to sports entertainment, which is under reality tele which is reality television. Well, that's yeah. unfortunate. It's like how like the big news companies can be can be called news entertainment. Another gold orid. Let's go. Hey Brobra. Yep. I just want you to know that uh, your football conversations during during that little football conversation, we hit the peak anger viewership in months and uh, went down really low at right after. <laughs> <laughs> I have to I have yeah, to yeah. assume that your 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 football talk had to have been the reason for yeah. both. <laughs> they stayed to listen, and then when you were done, they're like, "Okay, okay, well, we're not talking about football anymore." Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Brobra is the reason for the rise and fall of Scarecrow. Yeah, no, it's, uh, you have to understand, it's not actually real. It's all just a figment of your imagination. It's kind of real. It's like, it's as real as the Jersey Shore. Okay, so, is the saying figment of your imagination or pigment of your imagination? Figment. I've always thought it was figment, but I was never, like, 100% sure. Silver a burbot. Figment. Good to know. Yeah, Lake Trout is not working out. It's so bad now. <laughs> I'm trying for the Ord. Ugh. Oh, I appreciate yeah, that's where that, I'm heading baby. now. Heading over to get me some Ords now, brother. There's so many Honestly, good Ord spots. Probably faster to walk to this Ord spot than drive. Because I got to walk so far just to get to the vehicle. Why did they put the vehicle thing so far that. away from this That's outpost top? Rainbow right trail. Now? Okay. Why did you leave? Why did you leave? What are they what are they fishing for over there? White Walker. That's what I should be using. Oh, I'm sure, G-Man. I'm sure. Alright, nothing there, I guess. Go further down this way? That's the exact spot that I just cast it in. Uh, Lake Trout are some of the biggest fish in the game. I never even thought about bottom fishing with these guys. So... My gold is 34 pounds, and the diamonds get much bigger than that. Yeah, Mike, how have you noticed it? Have you been struggling with light trout at all? Can we get a diamond ore, please? It's definitely I changed. So you have to because say, even I went please, and please. started catching diamond light trout with the jigging and, and with jigging oh, and goodness. using the... Uh, Spanners, and then all of a sudden, I'm sorry. Dude, I have been so they got changed. Bottom lurker, so then not a bottom lurker, so and now you don't see them on top. And I don't know. Well, I'm gonna get a diamond ore right okay. now. I don't, that's not Super sturgeon. Diamond ore spot, so we'll see. Tossing out the jerk bait now. What level should you start fishing for lake trout? As, as soon as you have a line that's about forty to forty-five pounds. Then you can start fishing for lake trout, I'd say. Come It's not as easy. Spinners, let them sink and reel in. See, that's like, what sucks I, because I, it I takes so long for them in this, uh, in this pond. to sink. 
I get gold. And then when I bottom fish with corn, I don't even get a bite. I think it depends on the time of day, Mike, because demonic was catching them left and right. I just think there's certain times of the day they like the they like the corn on the bottom, and then there's other times they like the spinner. You know, they have definitely changed, though. There They're definitely go. definitely let's, changed, Mister Patient. <laughs> please, please give me a diamond. I'm gonna get you a diamond. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. I, I thought you were CJO. I do. Oh, it's 5'11. Sorry, I, we're I, in I that thought I was bad time. I, take that oh, back. That's, that's I wish I'd been bottom right, fishing for these the whole time now. Uh, I never even thought about like, bottom lurker. Doing impressions of him. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely loved it. It was like instantaneous. He was like, yes, post it, post it. <laughs> Classic. Oh, man. Did you see the two uh, okay, Call so the Wild got, shorts I posted on the second channel? Got white wafters, we got cheese. I did not. One of them was the, Man, uh, the CJO those. short that I that I sent you in right. DMs. Right. Yeah, and then the other good. one was uh, when we were stream when uh, I think it was. I'm pretty Not sure anything, that it was yeah. during the Day of Giving streams. It uh -huh. was when when Caitlin was like, uh, "Yeah, Nate's coming for your thing, bro, bro." Uh -huh. ah, that that's that short actually did pretty well. I was kind of surprised that it's doing as well as it it's is. Caught. That's classic. It was like you know ones where I'm like, eh, I don't know if this off fits the, the main channel. It might be a little too uh, like to the right. a little too spicy. <laughs> dude, all and, my uh, shorts have been spicy. <laughs> dude, I'm just gonna start throwing well, those congratulations, like, dude. shorts for the hunter onto the second channel. Oh, uh, that's some changed. tension. That's better tension than the last few. This must be a gold orid. Oh, that's a big orid. Why? Why? Ah, seven pound silver, oh, just on. under seven. What size? I'm using a size five jerk bait. Dre, I'm gonna go catch a diamond ore trout over here. See, bro, bro, that's the uh, example of I just didn't want to mute in that situation. <laughs> what? Oh, what telling somebody about? the size of jerk bait I'm using. On your server right now, I caught a diamond oh, bot. Oh, because earlier you were like, diamond I bot. You mute like all the time. I don't think you're the best at, and I was like, oh, I just do it when I want to, you know. Oh, I see. I just make stuff up. Where'd you catch that? You at? like to tune people out as well. Yeah, I like I say that, but I guarantee you. I don't hear 90% of the stuff you say when you don't mute it. Oh, yeah, that's a good spot. Yeah, I've oh, even got that marked it, as a bird spot. It just happens. It's a natural thing when you're streaming because, like, you're focusing Congrats, on so many man. things at once. You're in a call with people. You're playing the game. You're looking at chat. I'm getting ready to start yeah, playing the hunter again, one. Austin. I may I may well, dabble in it some up. tomorrow, actually. I may, go, I may go after a magpie tomorrow. Come on, little I lords. I want to fish spots that aren't like normal. I may give on, the hunter like an hour. But at the same time, you want to win. For uh, yeah. Magpie. This is a good Orid. How much tension are we looking at? Oh, you're definitely not a gold. Nice, Dad. Me too. I mean, I got two today in 17 All right, minutes. Grover, I think this is a question best answered by you. Ooh, so happy, Fox. This. Happy Fox says, would you suggest the angler if you already have the hunter? Just wondering. It yes. depends. Do you like fishing? If you like fishing. <laughs> yes. 15 and you minutes. like the hunter call of the wilds, like pacing and the way the game works, the metal system and stuff. This basically is the fishing version of the hunter. Yep. It's a little bit different. It is a little bit different. It's all, it's, you can play offline, but it's all mostly oh online. Oh my gosh. There's a lot Hold better on. multiplayer. I got to see if Ender's actually okay. Hey, can I tune in on this? Yeah. I streamed the angler for three years, or the hunter, Call of the Wild, for three years. And I haven't played it in a couple months. Been playing the angler. Yeah. <laughs> That's True. Your best. That is your best uh, measure. Ender, Diamond, Musky, nice. I was going to say, I'm looking to see where he is to see if he typed it or not. I think he got a diamond musky. 
Like you might that. need to turn up the volume for Crow and Brober. Yeah, well, do. Nate, I'm. Got a Diamond Musky, 19.99. I'm pounds. wanting my mic to be the loudest, actually. Yeah, I don't have one. So of those. I got that turned down a little so I can concentrate. Ah, there we go. Caitlin added to it. I didn't think I'd like the game, but I absolutely adore it. It's a fun game. The, the angler, angler is, is better, like in my opinion. Chill out game. I like the surprise it's, it's of it. Cool. What I like you know? Is how, like, I don't, the devs are super funny, too. Yeah, I, I got like them turned down on game. purpose, Nate. I, I can't show it to you until we uh, until I catch a fish here. But, I like the fact that I don't know what this is that I've hooked into right here. They made a meme out of one of their characters, and they put the meme it's on so an in-game ugly Christmas I think it's a, what is that? It's incredible. I think it's a pike. Or a musky. Uh, the angler is not made by the exact same devs, but it's you know developers yeah, under the musky. same studio, right? Like if they're both made by Avalanche Studios, but you, like, you know like a different dev team, but same studio. You mean Expansive World? Well, Avalanche I've actually is, like, contemplated playing Classic to, uh, a little bit too because it has a little bit of this surprise right? element. Yeah. To it. Avalanche is the parent company, and then. Expansive world. The hunter got a little easy for me. Imagine losing a super rare to Nate. To be fair, I didn't lose a super rare to Nate. That's my second account. Except for the five animals that I need now. I, if I hadn't been doing that series where we're just searching the maps, I would have just reset the account for season three and never known that thing existed. Recently got into it. I've been attempting my first grind using the herd management on. Uh, yeah, Ro, I already have two diamond fell on my map. Plan on stacking more. Okay, good. Just caught me another so diamond well, channel cat makes two you, dimes you, today. Like, Sweet. Yeah, I got two go diamond brown go trout today. It's been a good day. And then I give it to a daytime server. And I get it, but it, was, it was an orange trout, so I can. I'm fine. Good old orids. I like the orange trout. They're fun. Hmm. Yeah, I need a di I want a diamond bad. I think I That's kind of what I'm targeting. I kind of want a diamond ore more than a diamond musky. Fair musky, maybe? Oh, really? Maybe? I don't know. They're, they're both really cool. I like the trout better. I might go oh. down the river here. My diamond ore had come out of one of the small ponds in the south there. In the oh, south. it did? Nice. Is it like a... It, was it a known diamond location or like just... Yeah, like it's, it's one of the known diamond locations in the south. One of the small ponds. Got you. See, I didn't know there was some, like, to be fair, I haven't looked at the Orid Trout diamond spots in months. Like, I think I, the last time I looked at where they can be was, like, maybe a month after the uh, the update that added them. So I'm not too familiar with all the spots aside from the, like, first couple that were found. Do you see um, the Jagged Dewdrop Trailhead? Look. It's in the south. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. All right. So to the left of it is a lookout tower. Yep. See that? There's a small lake above it or small pond above it. That's not the one. Yeah. It's the next one up. Is it the next? Yeah. It's the oh, one that has the, the one. it has a fish in area. It actually has a label on it. It has orid trout, mountain white fish, oh, rainbow I've trout, brick trout. I've been there because I don't have a label. Yeah. Or trout. So you'll get a point of interest there, and that's that's where I caught my diamond orid. Hmm. I guess I'll go check that spot out because I've never fished there before. I swear, if this is where my diamond orid is, <laughs> oh man, that'd be crazy. Nice, Kyle. Excuse me. You were fishing for burbot. Well, yeah, they bite the same things. Yeah. Oh, I went there in one of our tackle Tuesday orid trouts. I didn't get oh, a point did? of interest though. It might be one of those buggy ones where you have to walk on the right spot. Because I've seen some where I have to walk, like, perfectly over the spot. I don't remember the diamond ore poundage, but I got a, I got really close out of that one mountain pond. Somebody told me I was, like, 0.02 away. Jeez. Uh, Diamond Largy was a funny one. I actually got it right here. I was using a spinner. Where's my Diamond Ord? 
and it was in the middle of the night, and it bit, and I wasn't paying attention, and I accidentally cut the line instead of securing catch. And I was like, wait a minute, that was a huge largy. So I sent the crankbait back out, got it, or I sent the popper back out, got it to bite the popper, and pulled it back in. 12.31 pounds is how big mine is. 12.3? Okay. There you go, Caitlin. Yeah, I got really close. I got really close in uh, one of the Tackle Tuesday streams, I think. I might... After... Might leave this in here for a little bit longer and then move down to the Tiger Musky spot. Dre's already going for the Tiger Musky. Where's he at? I'm going for Black Crappie. If the temperature's ah, good. Here. I'm Waterfall. back. I'm back. So, left or right side of this lake? Or middle, even. Isn't there a big, isn't there a big cliff? I stood on the right side middle. Right side middle. That's kind of where I was thinking. It looks like the best spot because it's kind of like casting out to that deeper spot. You see some lily pads and stuff there in it? Not yet. Hmm. I was Is thinking there were some lily along? pads in it. I don't see any lily pads. I see a rock. I'm just going to stand on this rock. See if we can get a bite right off the bat here. That's uh, yours was 13.1. Your orid. I wonder where they go dime at. 12. Oh, there's later. an orid. Hey, little buddy. Not massive, but we got a fish here. I'm catching a lot of five and six pound orids. Dude, these John boats on the rivers in Golden Ridge are so, so good. good. Yeah. yeah, they're amazing, man. I love the John boats. Probably one of my favorite DLCs they've added. It's the best part is like they're not like I didn't like I was like oh, like without the trolling motors I was like like are they really yeah. worth it and then you get them and it's like these things are so much fun yeah they're just fun dude they just rip they're fun they look cool that's code and they don't really give you like a, a massive advantage so they don't feel pay to win or anything. That's code. Well, so far this likes delivering in terms of the numbers. I'm getting a four at every cast. Let's see what happens here. That area. Uh, of course, uh, now that I say that, I probably won't. Are swim bait? <laughs> are they still? Okay, good. Swimmy, swim, swimmy. Are you guys? Twitching your swim baits for the musky, are you, uh... Hey, man, twitching's the only way to go. Are you just constant on your swimmies? Swimmy, swam, I did stop and go. I can never get into stop and go. Just too much focus required that I don't have. <laughs> I got you my dang old brain, man. I can't be I using can't be thinking that hard like that. You gotta just... You just you just can't like I, I'm, I'm playing a fishing game. I'm trying to relax, you know? I'd rather just hold down the R button to do a little twitching motion. <laughs> you can't be doing the stop and get <laughs> pushing a button. That's too much thinking, let man. Let go, continue. Push, let go, continue. Push, let go. Push, let go. Do that. Constant speed of two. Too much work. Well, what I noticed right. is at constant, yeah, well, there would be I would there would be times that I wouldn't be catching anything. I'd be casting in that same spot, what? and then I would switch to const, uh, stop oh, and go, and I would get bites like every time. Dude, the 
thank you so much. I appreciate that. It hey, is the preferred put method, your ding though. Dongs in chat for Mad Roach. I think we're too. I want to see. I think we're too cool 1999 here. $19.99 worth of ding dongs in this chat. Matt, I don't know how many streams you've caught or if this is a new thing for you, but we're talking about the hostess ding-dongs that aren't actually ding-dongs, but they're the hostess cupcakes, but we call them ding-dongs because it's funny. Nice ding-dongs. The turtle? That's You're doing good. All right, I'm now I'm switching. Did I actually mute them? What? Okay, just making sure. I was muted. Yeah, I was muted. Okay. Uh, now I'm twitching. He's twitching. I'm twitching and I ain't getting nothing. Left eye or right eye? Brown eye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that means. <laughs> How many coconut salmon? Uh, a lot, uh, Ian. But the thing is, I wasn't really going for the coconut when I got mine. I was going for... What were we going for? Cutthroats? Horrid trout. Silver 40 salmon. We're way too cold here. And I got the coconut. Too cold, too cold, too cold. Okay. Um... <laughs> exactly, Strainer. Okay, that's that enough. Okay, okay. Stream's catching up. Size three mano. I mean, I guess I could do that. They're not biting on the swim bait anyway. Nah, they're not biting because they saw that you're the one fishing. That's so... We all know this is how they work. Sweet of you to say that. It doesn't hurt my feelings at all. I'm, yeah, I'm not yeah man. He's not crying at all. I'm Just like I'm never crying when Grober says he won't play Tarkov with me. Get over it. <laughs> I'll never get over it. You always play Tarkov when I'm at work. It's like, you hey, play Tarkov with me. Hey, do that you is not true. I will you make free time at, at any time for it. You play Tarkov with me at 11 a.m. on a Tuesday? No, 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 no. That is not true because I will literally drop anything to play it. Yeah, I'll play a Tarkov. Like if, if you oh. if you dude if you popped up if you popped online right at midnight and we're like hey dude you want to get a couple games of Tarkov just got like, me yes, yes, first yes, right green now, right now, right now. sunfish fifty seven point four degrees nice I don't care if I was going to sleep get in get in Discord <laughs> slam on the brakes there for a minute oopsies. Hey man, at least CJO and Tony play with me. And sometimes, Nate. Pro? What? The Mad Roach has donated $100. Oh, lordy. Mad, dude. You did not have to do that. Oh, bro. Bruzzy getting all dude. warm and fuzzy. <laughs> onions. <laughs> onions. Uh, somebody's cutting onions in his, uh, in his room, dude, guys. Dude, thank you so much. My wife is going to be so happy. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much, Matt. Yeah, hit me up for sure, dude. Hit me up. Uh, are you are you in the Discord? Get in the hop in my Discord if you're not in there. There's the link actually. That one may not work, but there should be a link in the description of this stream to get into my Discord channel. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. I don't know hey, if, how long you've been around, but I have a new baby due in the spring, so everything helps a lot. I thought he was going to say, I'm naming my baby after you. Yes, my <laughs> baby's first name is Matt, last name Roach. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Maybe if I donate Brober $100 to play Tarkov with me. <laughs> If you donate $100 to me, I'm going to donate it back to you, 
and ask you to make a video on uh, why I won't play Tarkov with you. I'll do it. <laughs> I know you would. You have to. If it's the donation, that's the amount <laughs> I, I get. Oh, man. Gotcha, Mad Roast. Gotcha. Well, welcome in, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Got a lot of orange trout here. <laughs> Certainly no problems with uh, quantity here. You guys' stream ever just uh, get a random wall of ding dongs? <laughs> Can't say it does. No. <laughs> oh, okay, just mine. <laughs> uh, I just see a wall of my own face, you know. A wall of my own. Oh, because you have your emote. I need to do like a mustache one or something. I was about to say, you did the 5 to 6 a.m. Mike, you ever notice that transitional stuff. period between nighttime yeah, fish and daytime on, fish, I that 5 to 6? Right it now. slows down so much in that area for me. Uh, you want you want to have a little tutorial class in this for some time where I show you the process almost I go through to make it Oh, yeah, we're getting closer to that. Yes, and I'm going to tell you what I'm going to make, and you're going to love it. Oh, it's man. Gonna, all right, so horizontally, it's going to have the word... They should start biting here soon. It's going to say certified. And then... Good luck the getting a word that long to show up. True. The way that you're going to have to do that if you really want it to pop is put it in multiple emotes or put it so like uh, like half of the word is on the upper half of the emote and the other half of the word is on the lower half. I don't even yeah, know if I've I'll caught a goad something. during this or not. Yeah, you'll probably have to be... do multiple emotes to get it like that. So I wanted to say certified skill issue. Oh, yeah. You'll but we've not been targeting like, easy fish certified, either. Certified, you know, where it's like it split up half of it on the top of the emote, other half on the bottom, like certi and then fide, you know? Yeah. And then you'll have to have an ish, a uh, an emote that says skill and then another emote that says issue. Six calls. That's yeah. probably the way you'll have to do it. Because otherwise, be people are going to be looking at, looking at it like, oh, my gosh, what does that tiny text say? should start batting a lot better. Yeah. Now. I want people to be able to put certified skill issue in there. Because I think they would appreciate burning me about that. Probably. All else fails, you could also just do skill issue in two emotes. Oh, this one looks a little bit more of a fighter. Gold bluegill, nice. Hey man, only, only, only in like online jobs like uh, content creation do people pay money to roast you. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're, we're 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 some of the few people in the world, like uh, we're in one of the few professions in the world, right, where we w people pay us money so they can roast us, <laughs> and then others are paying money to congratulate us. It's like fifty-fifty yeah. split. Yeah. I'll take both. Oh man. Oh, it's Sounds fun good, either way. Roach. Sounds good, buddy. I hey, depending, on, depending on how clever clever the roasts are, you know. Yeah. It can be a fun time. <laughs> then there's Metal Man, who is playing farming sim, but not to farm. He's just jumping his mustang. <laughs> like, he's just, like he's one of them Duke boys. Nice orange trout, 51 like, dude, degrees. Just do a little cold. So good. What do you think this is? What do you think this is? Duke's a hazard? No, it's the farming sim. Man, oh man. Ah, Afro Diamonds Direct McChugs. Okay. Okay. I like it. Oh, your farming's done. Well, man, man, that's how it might just be too cold that's right fun. now to be going for black You're crappie. Never done. You're never I done. I might have to switch to tiger musky, even though I just got one. Playing the angler, no dime luck. That's true. That's how I felt for a while. Although I did get a dime last. Yeah, I won last tackle Tuesday with a diamond. Uh, Who's he, what's he? You know what? Who's he we got what's new. Yeah, we've know. got new <laughs> daily challenges. What? Grayling, that's it. Grayling. I'm Grayling. Man. Did you boys pick I up the new dailies? Grayling. Oh, no, Ooh, I did not. I need to do so. That's why Sprite is going for the freaking blue gear. Ten silvers is easy. 
Let's go. Hmm. I think we're in the wrong temperature time of day right now for what sh should I just go for? Yeah, you what the that, wind the house? That's that tiger musky. You know what? I bet you this is a good no, time to go for tiger musky right there in that spot right there. You know, this might be the the least people we've had for a tackle Tuesday in like You know what I could do? Caught a diamond burbot there, really caught a diamond catfish the... there. You can catch a diamond I, I, tiger musky there. Saying, like, All of them bite minnow. Uh, not an actual seasonal one. I could put a minnow yeah, on and do like a three for this. one fishing right through there. What are you using the voice chat? <laughs> Discord. Yeah, I got a migraine, unfortunately. R.I.P. He will be missed. Um, next stream, Roach will be normally Thursday, but I have a family Christmas will be Thursday. If I can, it'll be Friday. If I can, it'll be Friday. I was like, wait a minute. I just heard, I heard Schrader's feet footsteps. And I'm fish like, where's about the, right through here. What? And then boom. No, no, no. In the bowl. Let's, let's fix this. Let's, let's float yep, fish this. Already, what he said. With right, Minnow. And that way we can target three different fish oh. here you better ask him first nah he knows he knows it's coming i think a four oh, i'm gonna throw it out there and let it oh. i know a four would be good for tiger musky let me check the others it should be good across the board for catfish Burbot and Tiger Musky. That's going to be a bronze Tiger Musky, but I'm trying to get to where it can oh, I hoping, hit all I was of those. for a little bit of a clip in there. All right. Uh, they were hitting, all right, so uh, for catfish, they were hitting those minters pretty a four good, is going to so be silver. That's that fine. Up. Silver and up. For musky, that's going to be bronze and up. Actually, uh, I could go to a three, but let's look at Burbot. I think I can oh, that's tomorrow. dime only for Burbot. So, okay, we're going to leave it at a four because that's gold and a Burbot. Christmas. We'll, just, we'll just leave it at a four. So or Friday, actually, maybe Saturday. Diamond's really all Sunday I care about catching there. My dad's coming over. Let's go ahead and take it to a three. Christmas slash Eve, Let's take like it to dinner. a three. Well, we'll catch more fish though okay. and get so it's either gonna, my next get dailies done. I didn't even pay attention, didn't even pay attention to the temperature. Didn't even pay attention to the temperature. Friendly fire DC. Or a trout like redworm, right? Yes, redworm. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try bottom fishing <clears> for them. <throat> Your John boat to a bass tracker. Nice. Um. I, we want to be between 49 and 53.55 for Tiger Musky. Okay, the you other ones, I don't know. Nice. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. It's 51. I was so hoping we're, we're, we're there for Tiger Musky. We, we can't, I mean, we'll just keep us. casting there and see what happens. I was so hoping, dude. I thought they were going to surprise us because... On the pictures of John Boats, they had trolling <laughs> motors on them. And I was Maybe like, one of these years, man. Yeah. That would be a lot of work, so I understand why. I'm going to hit level surprise. 100 but tomorrow, guys. Gonna, Especially when we go through all the dailies. surprise us with trolling motors on the John Boats. And, uh... Man. And what somebody, one of my... And also, we could hit a bass in here, too. Well, I don't know about a nine in a bass, though. 
this studio, you know, they'll release content when it's ready. They don't, like, hold it all together and release it all at once, even if it kind of makes more sense. Like, they might release it in pieces just because it's ready to go. And, uh... So I hype myself up for it. I hype myself up and I let myself down. This one's small. Whatever it is. <laughs> Straight up. When is the next map do you think is coming? I think our temperatures are good uh, no matter where we're like, passing that right here. Let's coming out? ask her around. What's that, bro, bro? Um, Ian is wanting to know what I think the next map is going to come out for the angler. What and would be did. about the six month mark? Like where would that? When did when did this come out? When Spain come out? November, October. Johnny, so if you're watching, bro, April screen, maybe, April ish. I think so. April would be about six months, somewhere in that neighborhood, I would say. For what? Yeah. I would like to think that their target. Now I don't know this, but I would like to think that their target would be to come out with a map in between the hunter maps. Yeah, I would hope so. That would be good. I think I don't think there's that much I don't think there's that much collaboration between the teams. Yeah, I think they work pretty independently from each other. Uh but anyway, Johnny, if you're watching either of Sloan or Brober streams, can you send me all your data for like baits on Orid Trout? Because I can't find it in the chat. I was scrolling through and I have no idea like how far up it was. Yeah, Magic Pond's awesome. Oh. I did a video on that too. Given this is a different type of game, they'd want to put out content every four months to avoid the game losing audience. Just but that's what we'd like to see. Yeah. So we had, what was it? October was September, October, right? That was the evolution update console launch. What was it? November was November, October 31st. So basically November, November, December, yeah, April? April we got right, the um, I'm probably going to bounce a little bit early so I can get some editing done for uh, tomorrow and the next day's video so I can just focus on Tarkov tomorrow. Wow. Okay. See you later, buddy. Yeah. So I will uh, I'll See talk you, to you guys later. Fun times, though. Later, later buddy. Sloan. Fun times, as always, guys. Yeah, everybody wants an ocean map. I just, they won't put Wells Catfish in right now because we don't have big enough gear for it. So I think, I think they would probably hold off on ocean map. Oh, that's at least a goal. Uh, they'd probably hold off on ocean map until they put, unless they put the big gear in with an ocean map, and then they can backfill bigger fish on the existing reserves. Oh, gold pike. Nice. Yeah, I was I was tossing around the idea of how cool it would be if you had a map that had fresh water and salt water. Like, uh, you had a coastal area, and yeah. uh, maybe yeah. put maybe stick a couple of charter boats out there that you could go and rent, and they take you out and have all the gear on the boats, and yeah. do some deep sea fishing, and have that cost money, you know, uh, that would to be cool. give a little bit of meaning pay, for the money in the game. Yeah, you have to pay coin, get chartered out, and then you don't actually own the heavy gear. That would be cool. Yeah, and like, Dang. like say, say it's ten thousand dollars. Take charter boat out, and then like, if four of us go, we can split the cost, like twenty five hundred each. Or if you're rich oh, and no. you just want to go by yourself, then you can and fork out the whole ten thousand. 
What's up, Big Rig? How you doing, buddy? You feeling a little bit better? Yeah, trust me, babe. Cool. But honestly, they can backfill Norway with... So you uh, fishing Middle Lake on Norway last night. Oh, and fresh. Amy for Aspen. Amy. Amy for Aspen Pike. I was fishing for Asp yesterday, too, actually. Who will ask is the next map? I don't know. I want somewhere warm. Spain is warm, which is nice. But I want somewhere warm and, like, not mountainous, I guess. Uh, we have two, like, cold maps. One warm map. I'd like another... Warm map. Roach, thank you, dude. You don't have to do that. I really appreciate that. I appreciate that so much, dude. Um, good luck at work. <laughs> as, however, ha enjoy work as much as you can. It is work, but I appreciate that. So much. After would be cool. Bass in Norway. Cod, yeah, Norway. Arizona, the humpback chub. I know what you're talking about, Strader. There we go with that. Amazon is my number one ass. I want some river monsters, baby. Yeah. Piranha. I, I know there's big, like, fish in Africa, but I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming there's as big a fish in Africa as there would be in the Amazon because there's just big animals everywhere in Africa, but I don't know what they would be. And whereas the Amazon, I know they've got the Arapaima, which I want so bad. Mekong River would be cool with the catfish. Yeah, true, Bungus. True, because the Amazon, you do, you would get peacock bass with the Amazon, which would be cool. Gee, man, that's, that's actually really good. Get the white challenges out of the way. They need to up the fish spawns, Big Rig? Eh. I don't know. I don't Demonic know. Like biscuit they over here fishing the... for the lake trout. I feel like if they up the, the like diamond spawns and fish spawns, then people are going to catch their diamonds a lot faster without like a trophy lodge. I don't know, I just feel- Oh, surprise, he's got the diamond perch! Nice! Surprise, he's got a diamond perch! Um... I don't know, dude. If they up the fish spawns... I like that it's so much harder to get diamonds in the angler than in the hunter. Like, with... With crow... Um... With Crow, I can go. We can go out and multiplayer hop and get a diamond in like minimum an hour, hour and a half at most. Yeah, it's got really easy. Except for the the really hard ones. Right, right. Like the five I've got left are not easy at all. I'm going to try to multiplayer hop and make myself do it. I just, I have so much trouble with that. The hacking, I haven't had problems with hacking recently, but at one point it was pretty bad. Well, it's between that and trying to find a decent time on a server to go and hunt for whatever it is you're needing to hunt for. 
<sighs> it's uh it's not the easy at least with the hunter once the host leaves if you can get host you can change it to the right time yeah excuse me I'll tell you, they didn't even touch the spawn rates when bond fishing came in, so those were not touched. Gaz put that in a message out to everybody, so. Just got to learn how they behave, guys. They change the behavior a little bit. Got to relearn it. People think that fish aren't biting as much, but. They're not biting the same way. Just, um. Uh, yeah. You're going to have to bottom fish, or you're going to have to float fish, or some are no longer bottom lurkers, and some are that weren't, and you just got to gotta adjust. And some people think, like, even even that, like, isn't the issue. Uh, but I don't, that wasn't changed in the update. The only thing that I'm consistently having trouble with since the update since bottom fishing came in, the only fish I'm struggling with is lake trout. I had been catching some diamond lake trout. I never did like fishing for them to begin with. But I had been catching some on spinners. And, you know, that's when you, you could see them at the top swimming around. And now you don't see them as much at the top. And I can't get them to hit my bottom feeder pole. Uh, can't get them to hit a spinner. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I can't get them to bite now. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I haven't got. I haven't been able to get them to bite at all. Like ever. Um, never got a diamond to bite, and I've been sitting in a spot and mul multiple occasions. I've been sitting. People have been right around me. And they have caught diamond lake trout around me, and I have not been able to get one. Mike's, Mike's saying it just takes patience. Well, that's true, but if I have to wait that long for a bite, I'm not fishing for them. That's not fun to me. I play the angler, I play the hunter because of the fast pace. And if I have to wait that long for a bite on lake trout, I'm just not going to fish for them. That's why I refuse to fish for Sidewinder. <laughs> oh, windy boy. It's not fun to me. I'm not going to do anything. If it's not fun, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of, I'm kind of in that boat, too. You know, like... Eh, like... I, I do like to have, I had side, I got Sidewinder once, and that was enough for me. I don't feel obligated to get him again. Yeah, but Mike, I can't get him to buy on the spinners or spoons. Like, before they were changed, I was getting on to buy all the time on spinners and spoons. And now, can't. Eh, there's other fish out there. I've got my diamond lake trout. I'm, I'll I'll move on. <laughs> Alter Oak says he's having a harder time with lake trout too. I think. I was using like a size three, Mike, just to try to get them biting. What I've noticed is the newer people who were who learned the game around the time console dropped, they overall tend to have like less trouble with with uh the fish these days and i'm wondering if that's because like we're just setting our ways yeah we've we've known it for so long hey cole that christmas was good Hey, 
they can. Can they? Can they be a bob? Can they? Eh? Can they? Eh? Hey, can they? <laughs> How is my Canadian accent gone? It just it just disappeared. I gotta get my old my Saskatchewan. I gotta get my old Saskatchewan accent out, eh? You and me, we can go to Timmy's. That's right, hey, bud. To, That's all I got. To Timmy's. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, bud. We can go to Timmy's, huh? That's all I got. You get your, your Timmy's, uh. There we go. That's that's better. That's better. It's not good, but it's better. Uh. I What's Timmy's? Tim Hortons? Oh, Tim Hortons. Okay, I got you. Come on. Uh, vibe is different. Oh, man. You should just... The vibe's usually different per type of stream, too. Uh, Tackle Tuesday is usually pretty wild, but we're between the competitive seasons. So it's just a for fun stream tonight. Uh, we're not going to... We're not actually competing tonight too uh but yeah no nate i think um that's the balance right um i don't think they're trying to be too much of either i think it's just the balance which see that's what, just ooh. gil that's rng because corn's all i used and couldn't get him to buy it. so the fact that he bit right off the bat for you was just a matter of casting in the right spot at the right time and he bit on his way around because he does this big wide orbit thing where he patrols and you got lucky and cast as he was coming by that's all that's all that is If that's that, here's the RNG factor of Sidewinder, Dad and Gil. Say you come in, you get your boat settled, you throw your bait out, and he has just passed that area, right? He just came through there. You're going to be waiting for a while before he comes back around. Or you get there right before he gets to your spot, and five minutes, boom, he bites. You know, you can get lucky that way, but if he has already passed through there on his rotation, his big wide oval that he takes, you're going to be waiting for a long time. It's just luck of the draw. But this old dude's not waiting. He gets 30 minutes, and if he hasn't bit, then guess who's not catching Sidewinder that week? Oh, that's at least a gold. Uh-oh. A gold what? Musky. Oh, I'm fishing for musky. Caught him jigging with the worm. See, that's how I've caught him before, was jigging with the worm. Oh, 15 pound gold. I just got my first tiger musky diamond yesterday. I saw that. I, uh... I still do not have one. That fork in the river is the place. Uh, yeah, Crow had Crow had a lot of work to do for editing and stuff still. And since this isn't actual like in season tackle Tuesday, oh dude, oh they're hitting on the crankbaits now. They're hitting on the crankbaits now. What? What is? Tiger musky where I'm at. Oh, I've never used crankbait on them. I don't think. Oh, not crankbait. Sorry, jerkbait. Back to back golds. No diamond though. No diamond. In the rain. I I know that if the if they could do dynamic weather patterns, they probably would. They probably would, honestly. 
Uh, the spider, I got a video that just came out today on it. Shows you all the spots. There's like seven diamond spots for Muskie. And I'll show you uh, where. Oh, shoot. He was right there. Hey, it wasn't that big, though. Right here is where I'm talking about. Right here. It says Burbot right there. Get here. Go down here. Like uh, Raid B Dog's going that way right now. Go summon you a boat and take it upstream here. And then get to right here and just fish this area right here. All right. Last cast for me. I got called tonight. Same. I got some editing to do tomorrow myself. Are you, uh, you guys are still on holiday break, aren't you? Yeah. Nice. Man, this is, I, I can't wait for tomorrow's video I'm putting out. It's, it's sweet. Nice. Two dimes in it. Have you ever made a, yeah, you did. You caught a thin lit diamond while you were making the guide. Uh, yes. And, uh, I've caught others while, like, prepping for it. See, in, in my video tomorrow, I pretty much proved the temperature thing is correct. I even predict it as I cast. What fish? Brown trout. It was pretty sweet because I caught two diamonds in 17 minutes. But I didn't, I was sitting there thinking because I had, I was like, I told my wife, I said, well, I've had a pass for Christmas because it's Christmas, you know, Christmas Eve and Christmas. And I said, but I really don't know what I'm going to do my next video on. I said, I'm just running out of ideas. You ever get that and getting those lulls where you're like, what am I going to make a video on, you know? And so I was out yeah. fishing. I said, I'm going to start targeting some of these fish I don't have. And I just, I think it was a challenge. Wasn't there a brown trout challenge or something? And I said, well, I'll go after brown trout then. Like catch 25 brown trout or something. There was some type of challenge with brown trout, I believe. Now, here's my thing. Is it? Here's my thing. If you look at time and temperature. Mm-hmm. If you go to the spot and you fish at the same time of day, it's going to be you're going to get about the same around the same temps, right? Most of the time. But you got to think so, too. I don't know how much they factor in. Like it could be a cold day. We don't know the air temperature. So if it's a cold day, that's going to affect the water. I don't know how much that affects everything. But I'm seeing a I'm seeing a pattern. Like God, that's a nice gold pike right I'll there. Tell you is more accurate than the temperature if you look if you track it by time you're gonna get more accurate like diamond potentials in yeah it's like a lot of times some spots i'm like well it's going to be too warm right now it's too early in the morning or too late in the evening or whatever you learn that stuff here's where temperature is out the window for me Whenever you're at the same type of area of fish likes, the same depth, the same temperature, mm. and they're nowhere to be found. Oh, you just got to move to another diamond spot. Right, but if you go to a spot where it's, you have all the right variables, you have the right temperature, you have the right depth, you have the right type of like environment, like in the habitats, you know, they tell you here, like Lake Shore, Shallow Lake, Upriver. You go to that one of those spots and it has all the right variables that the other place has. But there's none of that species to be found. Yeah. So how do we know that? So how do we know temperature is what is why is temperature so much more vital than all the other factors? Because it's the thing that you can see. 
when you catch a fish. Like right now, it's 50.8 degrees Fahrenheit on this pike. If I cast in the same spot that I just caught that in, I should get the same temperatures or close to it, unless the fish comes from extreme left or right. Then it's, I believe, where the fish came from is what the temperature is. What's that? But I tell you something else too is the color of the water. That is helping me more than anything. Like today on my on my second. Oh, you're muted. Sorry. Yeah, no, I just got a super chat. Today on my second diamond, I actually predict. I didn't predict a diamond, but when I pulled up to this spot. I've been looking at like the light green, the dark green, you know, when I'm searching for my temperatures, my desired temperatures. And like you'll see in tomorrow's video, I pull up to this second spot and I said, I'm going to cast straight ahead here and the water's going to be too warm. And I cast, catch a fish, sure enough, it's too warm. And then I said, okay, you see the, temp the color of the water behind me. I said, I'm going to cast back there and the, the temperature is going to be probably where I need it to be behind me because it was the same color as another spot that I was fishing up north. I turn around, I cast straight behind me, <laughs> but now here's the luck. Caught a diamond first cast. And it was in that, yeah. right, in that right temperature, you know. The RNG factor is that it was actually a diamond, but I, I figured it was going to be the temperature that I needed based on the color of the water. So I've been noticing correlations with that too, the depth of the water. Um, if you want to go, if you need it to be cooler or warmer, you change, you cast in lighter green or darker green water in those areas and your temperature changes based on the depth of the water, which it would in real life too. Right. And it's generally about the same temperature every single day in those spots at the same times. Yeah. So I'm, what I'm saying is if you can measure the time exactly, why wouldn't we just pull up time instead of temperature? Uh, I go, like, if I know it's morning time is usually I'm when I'm getting the temperature there. And when I get on the map and it's that time of day, I'm starting to learn, you know, that's where I'm going to go first. I catch a fish. Oh, there's the right temperature. So I just keep casting in that same spot. All it's doing is telling me where not to fish. Like if I go somewhere, it's five degrees too warm. I'm not fishing there. I'm leaving. I'm not going to waste my time there because I know it's not going to be possible. But those are so essentially it's just temperatures for those particular spots. Yeah. Not temperatures for the species. Right. Because it don't even matter what fish you catch. Like if like here I'm catching northern pike. Whatever fish I catch, and a lot of times I'll throw on a small bait just to get a bite. And as soon as I get that temperature, I'm like, okay, I'm catching in that direction. Or, well, it's five degrees too warm. I'll end up casting all around my boat. And then I'll look at the color of the water. And I'll move just a little bit to try to hit a different color of water. And if I don't get the temperature, then I just go to another diamond spot on the map. The data is so skewed that I don't think it is plausible. Well, I trust I, I trust my own eyes. And I, I know, I, you know, I've been catching a lot of diamonds a lot quicker lately. So by and large, all the diamonds that are being measured by temperature are caught out of the same like four or five spots. Right. But my so, point is like, especially with this spot I'm fishing right now. There are very few times throughout the day that the temperature is correct in this spot that I'm at right now. I usually end up going across the lake or the fork. Now the fork uh, where I caught my diamond, just about every time I go to that fork, it's the correct temperature, no matter where I cast. Right, but so you can catch diamonds at other spots with different temperatures though. Yeah. Right, no, no, there are... Every diamond is going to be between 49 and 53.5 on the Tiger Muskie. From the diamond locations? That, the yes. No locations. Or from anywhere. I mean, wherever. That's all that's being reported. Like, Right, but those that's been reported are just those spots. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Like there's one place that I get good temperatures, but I'm not sure you can catch a diamond there. Like, I don't know if it's too far away from this. There's a weather station, like from where I'm at right now, there's a weather station that's like between these two diamond markers. And I would say that you probably can catch one there. But I don't know for sure, because so I've not spent much time there. I usually spend all my time at a diamond location or close to a diamond icon. Yeah. Yeah, the temperature is not the end all be all. It's just like I'm at a diamond location right now. And I'm telling you, this spot right here, the temperature is usually not right at this spot. Most of the time, it's like two or three degrees too warm here. But if you come here early enough or late enough in the evening, you can you can find some time to catch them here. But that fork in the river is the best place. And I think that's why that's the big hot spot because that temperature is usually correct there for most of the day. I get All right, I said last cast a while ago, so I really got... <laughs> <laughs> Just one more fish. One more fish. All right, guys. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. I will see you guys Friday or Saturday because I still have family stuff this week. Oh, yeah. The holidays. So I will see you guys soon. All right, man. Later. All right. Later, Sloan. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. All right. Yeah, I got to talk in there. And... You got your dime there in that same fork. Yeah. Yeah, RNG. RNG is the key on anything. You ain't catching a diamond unless you get lucky. But like right here at this spot right here, there's a lot of time. See, we're early in the morning right now, so the temperature's good. This spot heats up so quick, though. So like if you come here midday, it's probably going to be too warm here at this spot. But what I've noticed about this spot down here where the fork is, that this i guess where it's a river or something this temperature right here stays pretty constant i came here really because i've i've caught three different types of diamonds here so i was hoping to get a diamond for tackle tuesday but didn't two biggest largemouth diamonds have the exact same water temperature yeah that's just the temperatures that temperature is part of it. Um, you have to have the right environment, you know, and you have to have that temperature. Like this is the right environment. I'm at a known diamond location, but if it's five degrees too warm here, I'm not going to catch a diamond here. I think what happens is the diamonds will swim over there across the lake or they'll swim down the river or go hide somewhere in the middle of the lake where it's warmer or something. I don't know. And then there's Bob. How's it going? Jeeple, what's up? You implied your method been catching them. Oh, I have no doubt. I, like, I have no doubt. No doubt at all about it. I know it works. But one more cast. One more fish. I was hoping I would. get a dime but oh well they're in my discord Kyle if you hit exclamation point discord and go down to the temperature recording channel under the angler
There you go. Yeah, it's uh, temperature. It's the only one with the word temperature in it. <laughs> temperature something. It's under the angler part, though, of the Discord. Nice silver musky. Uh, here. Let's just, I'll show that real quick. Uh, Discord, Discord. All right, so you have my Discord here, wherever it's at, right there. We have the angler right under the angler, temperature recording right there. If you click on that channel right here, it all is. And I updated that on 1217. So some of these may be slightly, I need to update it again, but this will definitely get you started. Uh, now this over here on the right, Stevie did all that research. Over here on the left, I just put a couple of Google Forms out and had people report to me their findings and I just go through there and write down the, the uh, lowest temperature and the highest temperature for each fish. And the groundwork is laid. Didn't take a lot of time to do it. Um, and I'm sure that somewhere out there somebody's caught a walleye at 52.8 degrees or 52.7 degrees or something, but they should be really close to being in these temperatures here. You know what I'm saying? Like you just look at each each one. Like right now I'm doing Tiger Musky on Golden Ridge and you can see there's the temperature 49 to 53.55. That's what I'm trying to look for. If I go to a known diamond spot and I cast all around my boat and I'm not getting anything in those temperatures, then I'm moving to another diamond spot, you know, until I find those temperatures. And then I just keep casting at that spot. So all you're doing, and then it still could take you hundreds of fish to get a diamond. All you're doing is uh, you're not wasting time fishing in a water hoe that's never going to produce a diamond. That's all you're doing. You're eliminating that big, huge waste of time fishing in a water hoe that you're never going to get a diamond from. I can stay here all day and never get a diamond. Um if it's too warm or too cold. So, but I'm here to help. And there's a lot of naysayers that don't believe in it. Um, I trust my own eyes. I trust my own experience. I'm going to keep doing it. I wouldn't be doing it myself if it didn't work. So to each their own, fish how you want. I'm looking at the temperatures. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for hanging out with me. We'll be on Twitch tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Wednesday? Be on Twitch tomorrow around, I don't know. I want to say 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, somewhere through there. But if we come up with plans for tomorrow evening, I may go on earlier. Who knows? That right now the plans around four or five o'clock Eastern time PM. Um, got your own Discord link. Yeah, it was right there. It is posted right up above you there. That's the Discord link. Warwolf posted it. Mike posted it. There's two, two Discord links right up above there. Is there a new reserve coming out, Davo? Uh, at some point. Yeah, the reserve pass, if you got that, you got another map coming. Um, and it comes out. We're, we're saying probably March, April, somewhere through there. But anywho, guys. It's past my bedtime. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow at some point. Be looking for me over there. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.